Good afternoon, family consumer sciences, 3621. My name is Lindsay Wood. Today is September 24th, around 5 p.m. And today, I'll be presenting to you my lesson plan for this week. This week's lesson plan is music. I made my lesson plans to cater to older toddlers. So, let's just drop right in. The NC standard I use is CD-5. And it says, children demonstrate self-expression and creativity in context, including play, visual arts, music, drama, and dance. The development indicator I used was to make up simple sense, nonsense songs, signs, chants, and or dances. And this development indicator is CD-5K. Again, I'm making my lesson plan for older toddlers. The lesson title was called Lunchtime, and the activity length could be 15 minutes. Probably not even that long, probably 10, 15 minutes. Um, I said the supplies you need is nothing, but you probably would need some patience doing this. And the activity would just be making a chant for lunchtime, well, a chant, a song, dance for lunchtime, for transition, whether you're in a school and you need the kids to settle down so you can light them up and walk them through the hallway, or whether you're in a daycare facility where you need to calm them down so your trans, um, so your classroom could, could transition into a lunchtime area. So, without further ado, this is how I would teach the kids. Hi, friends. So today. We are going to learn a song for lunch time. Who likes lunch time? But too high into the sky if you love lunch time. I love hamburgers, hot dogs. I love pizza and chicken nuggets. Yes, we love lunch time. We can put our hands down. And because we love lunch time so much, we're going to make a song for it. And when you hear this song and do our dance to it, we'll know that it's time to calm down, calm our bodies, so we can get ready for lunch. You ready? Everybody up, up on your two feet. Are you ready? So whatever I say, you have to repeat it. Okay? We ready? We're ready. So we're gonna start our Dance off by clap, clap, pat, pat. It's like a pattern. I'm going to keep going till I stay stuck. Ready? Clap, clap, pat, pat. Clap, clap, pat, pat. Clap, pat. Good job. Freeze. Now with our clap, clap, and pat, pat, we're gonna to start to say some words. I know. So we're gonna say, pat, 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 pat. Lunch time. Lunch time. Yummy in our tummy. Lunch time. Lunch time. So every time I say lunch time, you're gonna say it right after me. So it's gonna say, lunch time, lunch time, lunch time, lunch time. Yummy in our sack. Lunch time, lunch time, lunch time, lunch time. Yummy in my tummy. So I wanna say, lunch time, lunch time, lunch time, lunch time. Yummy in our tummy. We're gonna do this twice, and then after that, you'll know to sit down in your seat so we can find up and go to lunch. So it goes, lunch time, lunch time, lunch time, lunch. Time. Yummy in our tongues. Lunch time, lunch time, lunch time, lunch time. Lunch time. Yummy in our tongues. Okay, guys. So every time we hear this chat and do our dance, uh, rub our tummies, say yummy in our tummy, we know we're about to sit down, calm our bodies so we can line up and go to lunch. Okay, friends? Give me two claps if you had it. Ready? Good job. So that's the chat 
for lunchtime. It's very simple, very easy in my opinion. It's going to take a while for them to get it. I would suggest, well, I don't know if you guys thought, but after I clap, clap, pat, pat twice, I rubbed our tummy to say yummy on our tummy. Um, so that's just the chat. Very simple, very excited. They're going to hype up to eventually calm down so you can get them to lunch. Um, the four questions I would ask is just to reiterate what we just did. What is our song about? Let us say lunchtime, hopefully. <laughs> then the next one will be, um, what do you guys bring for lunch? Do you bring lunch? Do you school eat lunch? What do you bring for lunch? That's what we discussed. Um, is lunchtime your favorite part of the day? And if your children are rhyming, yet did anything wrong i think we say yummy in our tummy what two words rhyme and that's how you can bring it back to learning and you know um if you're talking about patterns you can talk about the clap clap pat pat clap clap pat pat that might be a little complex <laughs> but that is our chat for lunch time so thank you for tuning in well not tuning in and that is my lesson plan for Otis Hollis for this week.